So here's what happened today. Came in early in the morning, uh, trying to get ready for a small group guitar rehearsal I have later in the day. Check my guitar closet, and this happened. This is the Epiphone Pro One Classic 2.0 guitar. I have 12 of these in my classroom. Well, I have 11 now. This is not really usable. Um, so, um, how does this happen on guitars? Well, if, you, um, if you've been around for a while, you'll probably um, remember that I posted a unboxing video. It was about a year ago. An unboxing video of 12 of these uh, when I bought them. Uh, I'll place the link at the bottom. And um, in that video, I, one of the things that I did not like about this guitar, uh, I think that four of them in the lot of 12 uh, had a bridge issue where, let me show you on a different one. Okay, so here's a different one, uh, one that has not been damaged yet. And I showed you that, and by the way, when you buy an acoustic guitar that has a bridge on it, a glued on bridge, a good thing that you want to look at, uh, probably the first thing you should look at, is the bridge here, you want no separation, so you have to do a visual check right away, especially in the back, uh, as the strings pull on that bridge, if it's not glued properly, it, it'll start to pull up, and you'll see some separation. You won't see a lot of separation on this side, because obviously the strings are pulling this way, uh, so you look in the back, uh, but a visual check is not enough. I have this sheet in here in my hand, and you need to do a test where you slide uh, either a business card or a sheet of paper. Let me make sure you can see that in there, and I'm sure you can see that the paper can actually go in that corner, that corner, see how it goes in. And you can't really see it when you look at it, but if you do a paper test there too, and well, I mean, you can see that there as well. So this is clearly a factory problem where they did not do a good enough job of gluing that bridge down, see? So I think I had like four of these where even though the separation was not very visual, you couldn't really see it, but you can stick a piece of paper in there. Uh, by the way, this song is one of the two songs I'm playing with that uh, guitar ensemble. It's a group of 11 students. These are fifth and sixth graders, and we're getting ready for a, um, a performance later this month, actually in March. And uh, it's a large event. It's a multicultural event, district-wide, and this is the first song I was teaching them. It's called Los Campeones. You see my name there because I wrote it. And uh, the whole thing is on the first string. It's really cool because uh, these are, most of them are beginners. And uh, maybe at some point I'll do a, a demo and a, maybe a short tutorial on this song. It's, it's kind of a cool piece for a beginner. Uh, but anyways, so that's what happened. Now, if... Uh, humidity changes in your room, whatever room you're in, then that's going to make the problem worse and it's going to make the bridge pop off faster. So talking about humidity, uh, on this guitar, as you can see, this was probably not a humidity problem um, because the bridge was already off like I showed you, but also if you look at the way that it came off, it basically just ripped off. It didn't pull up a little bit and a little bit, and you can see the, the wood on the top here is shredded off, see? And uh, the wood on the bridge, there's, there's, yeah, there's shreds of wood on there. So this was simply not glued properly, and it came off and actually, if you look on the edge of the bridge, 
See, I think that's, I'm not a guitar uh, tech at all, but the way that I could see this, see they applied glued, but they stopped before the edge. They didn't apply glue all the way to the edge. And that allowed the bridge to lift a little bit, is my assumption. And then it just finally gave in and just ripped off the surface of the wood. So this is not even a slow, gentle come off. It just, it just snapped off. And again, I'm assuming the problem is that, as you can see there, the glue is not applied all the way to the edge of the bridge, which would allow for a spacing there, for separation. And maybe humidity changes would, uh, you know, emphasize that problem. So anyways, um, is this worth fixing? Well, for me, probably not. Um, I think these retail at like 139 or 129. They were on sale for 109 when we bought them. We bought 12 of these. And I bought them through a Guitar Center Pro uh, contact. So we were able to uh, pay $90 for each guitar, which is a great price. So it's a really good instrument, aside from <laughs> the occasional lifting bridge. Um, so we paid ninety dollars. I assume that to fix this in a store would cost about a hundred bucks at least, and it's just not worth it. Now, what I will try to do, if I had uh, clamps myself, I could try to learn how to fix it just for fun. And if I do, I'll make a video of that. But the way things are right now, this is just not worth it. So it'll just probably just sit in here, and I'll use it for parts. Like I'll keep it for the keys if any of the keys on the other guitars break off or something. So yeah, that's my uh, that's my 12 guitars going down to 11 guitars. Um, I don't want to close this video before playing something on one of these guitars. So here's a few measures from Prayer for Rain, played on an undamaged Epiphone Pro One. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> Well, thanks for watching my video. Hope you liked it. Give it a like if you did. If you want to subscribe to my channel, you're more than welcome to do that. Thank you very much for that. See you next time. Bye-bye.